Alright everyone, this is Zero Budget Geek and welcome to Trial by Viking. I've been given a Steam key to try this game out and I've tried a little bit about a little bit of it and I decided to play it and record it and let you guys know what I think of it so far. So this is an action platformer uh, kind of in the vein of the Metroidvania style games and um, it's, it seems pretty interesting. There's a few things I'm not too crazy about, but uh, there are some good ideas here. So let's go ahead and start a new game and you can see what this game is like. Alright, so we need to make a new save name. We're just going to call ourselves um, Abe. I don't know, just picking something. Alright, I'm going to hit OK. And we're going to select the difficulty. We'll start just on normal difficulty. My story begins in a village where Vikings once lived. Are you sure you heard something? Maybe with death to win. Shh, listen. It's out here. I know the sound of wings when I hear it. If the gods have placed it here, maybe we should leave it be. It already killed a boy in the town next over. You want yours to be next? No, no, he fell. <laughs> it's headed toward the dock. Mighty Dragon. I was not in control at that That's point, by the way. Odin came to me. This is all pretty much a uh, cutscene here. He told me the carelessness of Loki would soon bring an age of destruction to the cosmos, and that the help of my kind would be needed. I live my life guided by the wisdom of Odin. That is the way of the Viking. And so it begins. I have brought you a far distance from your homeworld. This place is a construct of space and time created by Loki in one of the four far corners of the cosmos. My power is limited here, but the more sunstones you collect, the greater my influence will grow. I have placed an exit point on the other side of this construct. Get there with as many sunstones as you can. Alright, are we in control? Okay, we're in control now. So, this supports mouse and keyboard controls. Uh, as well as controller, but it is highly recommended to play with co uh, controller, which is what I'm playing with right now. So we have a, an axe attack that we have, and we can uh, throw axes. And let's jump this way. And you can uh, melee attack guys, which does more damage, but puts you in a little bit of danger. Alright, let's... Uh, oh! Just died there. Yeah, you don't want to fall these places because you can die instantly by falling. Alright, we're gonna go down first. Chop that guy up. There we go. Collect some more of these. We have a switch that we can click there. Uh, activate something up there. And let's see. We're gonna jump here. Come up here. I thought I saw somebody. There we go. Nice. Ooh. So the thrown axes don't do as much damage, but uh, it is safer. Die already. Alright, got him. Alright, this will bring us up here. And we have a key. I don't know where to, where to use it yet. Oh, okay, I think I remember. Uh, and we got a vulnerability potion. Oh, no. Almost fell there. Ah! Let's uh, 
Try to get back up there. Music is kind of loud in this game. Oh, damn it. Come on. There we go. I'm up here. That guy's throwing axes. I can throw axes too, buddy. I didn't just knock him off. I did. And we unlock the door, and we are able to leave the level. So the game saves after every uh, every level that you beat. I will hit continue, and as we can see over here on the side, there's some levels we can select. I guess later on there's different realms we could uh, go to. I have not gotten that far, um, but right now we're going into the second stage here. So let's hit play. And your inventory, Odin will grant you items to use within the constructs in exchange for sunstones you have gathered. You can equip one main action and one sub action at a time. Passive items are always equipped. Alright, so as we can see over here on the right hand side, there's a bunch of items that we could probably buy. We have 30 sunstones right now. Uh, the cheapest thing right now is this boomerang which costs 50, so we can't afford anything just yet. So let's just go ahead and hit play and move on to the next stage. Hold upwards for one second to temporarily zoom out your view. So we can try that out right, right now real quick. We'll hold up and that lets us get a, bit, a broader view for a moment. Alright, we are locked in here so we'll hit this lever. Try to get us out. And fight this guy here. Oops. Oh no. So throwing the axe is not good in cramped quarters. Uh, when you cramp quarters, see it just kind of hits the ceiling there and gets stuck. All right. Oh, I missed. And again, like I said, uh, hitting with the axe in melee does much more damage. And this music is really loud. Let's. Uh, well, let's. Uh, we can't do anything with it yet. All right. So collect these sunstones. Oh, come on. Alright. And kill that cockroach. Or is it a spider? I don't know. Oh, damn it. It's not what I expected to happen. Missed that. Oh, no. There we go. Alright. Uh, there's, there's some puzzle elements here. We can push this. And get up here. We can collect. Collect some more sunstones. And, I mean, those are useful because we'll use those to buy stuff. Alright. Jump up here. These things activate when you jump. Oh, damn it. Alright, those are giant spiders. They look like roaches. Let's uh, go up first here real quick. So far, most of the enemies are pretty easy. That whatever this is, maybe if I come back later. I have no idea what that was. But it looks like we can't go anywhere further here. So we'll go down. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I think I. Alright, so I feel that. When you die, you just kind of go back to the beginning of level. All right, we gotta do this over again. Right, let's see if we can do this again real quick. Now that I know what I'm doing, oh, I forgot about that guy. All right, let's get this over here. I've taken a lot more damage than I should be taking. Oh, I didn't get those uh, gems in there. 
a little bit of a delay between pressing the button and when it actually, uh... That was weird. Alright. Let's uh, avoid these spikes. time without uh, taking damage. There are still stun souls left. Now nah, we'll continue. If I was playing uh, fully serious, then I would have gone back and get everything. But I just want to show you as much of the game as possible. Okay, so we've completed that level. We're going into level 3 Wild Hunt. We'll hit play. And can we buy anything? Not yet. So let's just hit play. You can customize your controls using... Yeah, 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 yeah. this stage okay there's nowhere to go this way we have to go this other way here and we gotta avoid I don't think there's any way to kill those things that are shooting at us and okay here's a little bit of a puzzle we gotta turn this wheel Ooh, nope. all right there we go Oh, that loud music! I mean, it seems like the music in this game is just loud no matter what because I've lowered it in the options and it's still... Oh, we got a tiny potion. Let's just go in here, flip that switch. I don't know what the switch does. that polar bear. Bro, I will eat every last one of these foul tasting creatures. I was overwhelmed by a horde of these things and I have been trapped here ever since. Man, that music is just freaking loud. I thank you for freeing me, human. In return, let me teach you to Spirit Dash. Spirit Dash? Alright, we'll skip that. Basically, oh man. So we can dash now. We can dash now and then shut up. All right, we can dash now and then you have a little bit of a vulnerability when you first dash. that was going to kill me. Damn it. Oh, damn. So, the, the controls in this game are very, very floaty. Um, yeah, we're going to exit this level. They're very, very floaty. Like, when you're jumping in the air, you feel like you're kind of floating, but not really. And, you know, when you land on places, you slide for a little bit. It, it's kind of wonky. I, I would like for them to make it a little bit tighter. Let's go into the fourth stage here and we have some I, I can buy something now. Uh, I'm going to buy a sub item here. I'm going to buy this boomerang for 50. Oh. So now we have a sub item equipped. Let's go into the next stage so you can see uh, what that is like. And basically we can shoot it. And it doesn't look like it, requ uh, it requires any resources other than it has a little bit of a cooldown. Here, these uh, blocks uh, disappear when you touch them. All right. All right, we gotta kind of run through this stage. Oh, shoot. I dashed there by accident. And I almost died there. Man, I'm doing terribly. Died there. All right. Boy, that guy. Come on, come at me, bro. Can you see how, much, how many hits it takes with the thrown axe? Um, yeah, we'll exit there. Yeah, it, it takes a lot of hits with the thrown axe. Um, it's usually better to just uh, 
hit him up close, but it's, it's a lot more dangerous. All right, we'll, we'll do one more stage here. Spirit dashing makes you temporarily invulnerable, and that's going to be important in a moment here because I think we're about to face our first boss. The door shuts behind you. All right. Hmm, I can smell you, human. My master has told me you're coming. I will serve you to him and his skewer. All right, so this is gonna. This is a really sad boss fight here. Because pretty much all I gotta do is do that. And then I can do my dash. Since I'm invulnerable in my dash. Ah. Oh, I might die actually. No, run away. Ah, I died. Okay, maybe it wasn't that sad of a boss fight. But, alright, we're gonna do it this time. Alright, we'll skip the dialogue. Let's see if, uh, alright. There we go. <laughs> so, bone bone brushing him was uh, the better strategy there. All right. So then, uh, I, it looks like at certain points of the game we can, um, uh, what you call it, uh, put character points. Uh, I'll go for vampirism. Every time I kill an enemy, I gain some health. Oops, there we go. Save. Welcome to f the floating hall of Alashkov. From here, I can place us at any point in the cosmos. And this is my trusted advisor, Mimir. You will have to excuse him. The Jotna are not particularly fond of humans. What shall I do? I will return the sentiment. That's fine. I don't like much the look of his kind either. They say the Jotna smell of cold fish and will cut your throat while you sleep. You had better watch your back then, friend. Enough. Your differences are petty. We have far greater things we need to discuss. My blood brother Loki has unleashed a terrible force. It has granted him the magic to create worlds and even life. But it has poisoned his mind as well. Your talents will be needed if we hope to stop him. My talents? Unless drinking loudly and singing poorly counts, I'm not sure what you mean. You are modest for Viking. Come, I have something to show you. This is the mirror of Hishlech, I cannot pronounce it. With it, we can see into any past. Show him. Looking into the light, I have a vision. Runes deep within the roots of Yggdrasil taught Odin of the Sunstone and the Darkstone. Since before Ymir lived, their energy has balanced the scales of chaos and order. Odin brought them to Asgard to be studied, but not interfered with. Loki, however, could not resist. Loki has shattered the Sunstone, hiding the pieces throughout the realms. He has taken the Darkstone for his own ends as well. He is now using its power to manifest the worst fears of gods and man, claiming it retribution. We cannot stop him while he wields such magic, but there is a way to weaken him. We must reforge the Sunstone. 
Unfortunately, the scattered pieces are protected by Loki's magic, and it seems that only humans are immune to the spell. Well, that's a stupid weakness. This is how I found myself in a clash between gods. <laughs> so you make your, uh, your magic is weak to the most multitude thing on the planet pretty much okay so we're gonna end things there we'll just jump back to the main menu so that is trial by viking guys um it's interesting game uh I i'm not too crazy about the controls and the graphics leave a little bit to be desired um but if you are looking for a metrovania style platform game you know you can give this a try uh it's not the worst game i've ever played but obviously i have played some better ones um so you know hopefully this video gave you a little bit of an idea of what to expect um but you know i'll keep playing it and you know delve more in into it and see what it's like but this will be it for now guys thanks for watching and i'll see you soon